Hi, this is Drew with Daniel's Ag Services with your morning report. Grain markets all finished up higher yesterday, been lower so far this morning. Uh, the situation over in Ukraine, tensions have eased a little bit. Uh, Vladimir Putin has come out and said that he does not uh, anticipate or have any plans to annex Crimea over to Russia. So they, they are going to stay in Russia. Most people think at least until uh, the new government's put in place over there in May. Um, but as far as you know, any volatile action, while that's still on the table for them, it's not expected that that will happen. Of course, things could change on the uh, drop of a dime with something like this. So we'll have to wait and see what plays out. Obviously, that's why we're adding risk premium to the market. None of the exports out of uh, Ukraine happen in Crimea and they haven't been affected whatsoever right now. But the thought that they could be affected is why we've seen this rally the past couple of days. And, you know, that should add a little risk premium when something like a potential war uh, could be happening in a country that uh, is a large grain exporter. So we'll obviously keep you up to date on what's going on right there. Uh, no new news to report other than that, other than tensions have eased a little bit. Things are going normal as far as grain exports go. We'll just have to see if that remains the case. And if it doesn't, we'll definitely let you know here on the, uh, the Wilkins Aguirre. But moving forward, China is expected to approve the MIR-162 Syngenta corn strain uh, that was unapproved, and we had so many cargoes and containers getting uh, rejected when they were shipped over to China. That's expected to be approved, approved sometime this year. Uh, a lot of thinking it's going to be in the later first half of the year, so likely in June. Uh, we could see this strain approved. So that could ramp up some demand for corn exports. I know a lot of people are worried uh, that uh, are buying that seed, potentially going to grow that grain that they might not have a place to sell it to. Uh, that could ease some of those concerns on the producer perspective. So um, one last thing I do want to talk about is we have seen a lot of funds come into the commodity sector as of late. Corn open interest, I think, rose by over 13,000 contracts yesterday. So funds are putting some money back into the uh, the commodity markets, and that can lead us on to a bull run. We'll have to see if that continues. Typically, when they come into a market like this, they uh, they do it in three-day bursts around the beginning of the month. So we could see some more buying in corn due to that today, as today is the third trading day for March. We'll have to see if the funds continue. Um, if the stock market takes back off again, we could see that money come out of the commodities and go back into stocks. So we'll have to see how that plays out. We'll keep you up to date as far as what the funds are doing here. But that's all we've got for today. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principles, Brokers and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risk involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.